Mr. Postman, Mr. Postman, look at me. Mr. Postman. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Woo! Did you miss me? Welcome once again, everybody. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, ramping up the cheer as the holidays grow near. Are you looking forward to the holiday season or dreading it? Hmm? Today's kind of a holiday if you're a Star Wars fan. 42 years ago today, the Star Wars Holiday Special. It was a two-hour-long Star Wars-themed variety show. It aired on CBS television, and true fans remember the special every year in hopes that future generations need not relive the horror. It was bad. It was pretty bad. But we'll certainly try to have a better show tonight. As usual, a tantalizing 12 tricky ones are about to appear on your mobile device. Maneuver past them to the correct answers, and you'll be splitting the usual $5,000 prize pot. That's right. Or get yourself a VIP ticket that throws you in for bigger winnings. As long as we sell 75 tickets, we'll put up a VIP pot worth $1,000. Yes, to go to the few winners from the VIP circle that will not be bigger than 125. So grab your ticket before somebody else gets it. Okay? And don't forget that an extra life can help you out in a big way. It keeps you in the game after a wrong answer. You can even earn them by playing regularly or buy them with the in-game coins that you also get by playing. So why would you ever not play? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. And hey, this week, we're shouting out charities that you guys suggested, and you keep coming up with great tonight. It's Kids Me. Acting their school performance, physical. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now on this pop up somewhere over here. All right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, who feels like plopping this gray square into our Game Boy and seeing who racks up a high score? We've got a fresh, uh, fresh double A batteries, okay? The headphones from Mom's Walkman and the couch all to ourselves. Let's catch them all! It's a Pokemon ring. Remember, the questions are just as scared of you as you are of them. So look them in the eyes, but don't back down. You'll dominate them. Now, there's nothing to it. We're so close to VIP, literally. Nine people away. <laughs> okay, nothing to it, but the HQ it with question number one. Which of these structures was built first? Eiffel Tower, Roman Coliseum, or Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? What's it gonna be, y'all? All right, groundbreaking on the Hall of Fame was during the Clinton administration, so let's eliminate it. The Eiffel Tower is more than a century old, but the Coliseum was first century AD. That's right, 50,468 of y'all got that right. Gladiator fights were the original rock and roll shows. It's true. Q2, babies. Who would a ram mate with? Cow, sheep, or sow? Q2. I really hope you knew this one, okay? We learned the farm animals in early childhood, and it's not going much deeper to point out that rams pair up with sheep. That's right, 47,147. for the other two. Not in that order. Okay. One cat has what for a body? Pineapple, pop tart, or pork tart? Nyan cat. I don't know about the Nyan cat, right? Nyan? Okay. Memes have staying power, and this one is approaching the age of 10. 
So, if you have an ISP, you've probably seen Yan Cat Hot Body. Oh, look at the face. <laughs> if it made complete sense, it wouldn't be a meme. Okay? 36,107 players. Got it right? Q4, knocking on your door. Let's go to work. Mm, 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 mm. Which of these is a Middle Eastern country? Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, or Dubai? Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, or Dubai? Oh, they're all Middle Eastern. But two of these are cities within the United Arab Emirates, about a day's drive from the kingdom of Bahrain. Yep, yeah, 25,079 got it right. You can drive there. A bridge is involved. Like a bridge over Middle Eastern waters. <laughs> Q5. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. So clean. Okay. Disney's official fan club is named in homage to what? Company founding, Disney family, or first sound cartoon? Come on, get with it, babies. Drip, drip, came through dripping. Okay. Disney loves its fans, and they weren't about to let all the unofficial clubs make all the money. So they started D23 in honor of 1923, the year the company was founded. This whole time, I just thought they were big Dr. Pepper drinkers. D23. 23 ingredients in ice cold, refreshing Dr. Pepper. Ding. All right, Q6. And it goes a little something like this. What other part of the human body would you find near a metatarsal? Foot, humerus, or malleus? Maybe we all should have been paying attention during biology. Most of us only learn these when we injure them. If you're sitting down, relax those metatarsals. Since they're near your ACL, in your foot. 13,746, y'all got that right. The malleus is in the ear, way off. Way, way off. Q7, what activity is the most likely to use a herringbone technique? Chess, golf, or skiing? All right, yep, just like hound's tooth. This can also be a pattern for textiles, but we're looking for athletic use, and if you're using the herringbone technique, you'd be skiing, my friend. It's just pointing your skis out so you can move up. Kind of like what that guy was doing. Yeah. 13,039, y'all got that right. Skiing is the answer. Question number eight. Here we go. Let's get down with our bad selves, shall we? What's up, Nate? My dude. All right, here we go. Which of these is not a direct English translation of the name of a popular appetizer? Outside the work, sofa, or starting song. All right, language doesn't always follow logical rules. So when you're offered an hors d'oeuvre, somehow that's French for outside the work. And uh, canapé is French for sofa. So even if you're starting soft, that's not the name. 9,092. Got it right at Q8. We got four more questions, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, so clean. Yes, I feel pretty clean today. I'm amazed that I keep this, uh, this blazer so black with my shedding, shedding dogs. Their white fur gets everywhere. Here we go. Q9. A species of fly was named after Beyonce due to what feature? Coloring, habitat, or sound? A species of fly named after Beyonce. Okay, Scapita Beyonce is one of the newer members of the Fly Club, named in homage to Beyonce because of the hairs on his abdomen, 
with their rich gold color. But why would you name a fly after Queen Bee? 2,837 of y'all got that right. That was savage. I don't think you're ready for this question. I don't think you're ready for this question. I don't think you're ready for this. Because that fly is Beyonce. Let's just pour your bang. 2,837 got it right. You're moving on to Q10, my friends. Time to get it in. The first man to appear solo on the cover of Vogue was first famous for what? Acting, singing, or sports? All right, there's sexiest man of the year, and then there's just good old-fashioned, well, fashion. So after years of amazing outfits, on and off stage, Harry Styles of One Direction became Vogue's first solo male cover model. Yeah. I say the name gave him an edge. <laughs> Singing, y'all. 3,185 y'all got that right. Two more cues till we do what we do's. <laughs> Q11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. The first African-American tennis Grand Slam champ shares a surname with a famous maker of what? Jet engines, food, or music? Who is the Time is up. They won one and then went on to take more the next year. That would be the great Althea Gibson in France, of course. That's just like those famous guitar makers. Gibson, music gear, babies. 2,250, y'all got it right. Williams makes jet engines and one of the Williams sisters has a clothing line. Music gear was the answer. That means 2,250 of you are moving on to the final question of the game. Air horn. Yeah. Let's go to work. Good job. Final cue. It all comes down to this. Here we go. Bill Gates' most notable mathematics paper centers on what sort of food? Cookies, eggs, or pancakes? Bill Gates. Notable mathematics paper. All right, if you're smart enough to build Microsoft, you can probably get a science paper together. And back at Harvard, Bill solved a math problem about the most efficient way to flip order into a disorganized stack of pancakes. Oh, yeah! 1,702 of y'all got that right. Good job! You just won HQ Trivia, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to work! You did it. So proud. So proud. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I love you, Ja. SWKSF. Unfasten. RK242 HQ. The Law C. Wilbert! My man Gilbert. We talked on the phone. Yeah, I remember you, dog. Congratulations. Arturo008. Berg27, Carlos Even, IG Wells, Caroline Gurr, White Warrior, <laughs> Bieber Pup, Ashishishish. Just to name a few. Good job, everybody. 1,702 winners. That's pretty jiggy. It's another successful game to celebrate here at HQ. And the way we celebrate is by doing it again tomorrow. So I hope you'll all be here. It's another HQ movie night with Anna Roisman. And the topic is great family movies. You don't want to miss that. You've seen some family movies. And on Thursday, Jeff Eisenband hosts HQ's Hall of Trivia at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, one hour before the main game with yours truly. That charity again was Kids Meals, replacing hunger with hope down in Texas. They're kidsmealsinc.org, and donations are what make it all possible. And you can recommend a charity to us at hqtrivia.com slash charity. We want to hear from you, babies. We want to know where to send some help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until I see you again, this is Money Flipping Matt Richards, leaving you with the powerful words of Harvey Corman in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Remember, every one of the 10,000 terminals on your circuit breaker module is marked in a particular color. Now you sit and think about that, okay? Yeah. <laughs>